You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. To begin the show with, we take you to get soaked in the vibrant festivities of Thrissur Puram that was recently observed with huge fanfare across the state of Kerala. Regarded as the mother of all Purams, the festival was the brainchild of Sakthan Tharapuram, the Maharaja of Cochin from 1790 to 1805. Thrissur city of Kerala came alive with colourful festivities as one of the biggest annual carnivals of the state, Thrissur Puram was celebrated with huge fanfare. Held at Varakum Nathan Temple, situated in Thekin Kadu Maidan of the city, the festival is observed in the Malayalam month of Maidam on Puram Day when the moon rises with the Puram star. This year, the festival was much awaited by devotees as it was taking place after two years' gap. Coming after two years for Trishur Puram, and it is really nice to watch it live. That too, we got a chance to watch it from close, so it was really nice. It's a nice vibe. Uh, really, we are exciting this year uh, because last two years there was no function like this. So we are so exciting to see all this uh, today's programs, and we are happy with the. Uh, we are enjoying completely. We family, we are all. Uh, every year we will enjoy this program. This year, the festival was heralded by majestic Tuskar Ernakulam Sivakumar, who, carrying the idol of Naithala Kavu Bhagavati, opened the gates of the ancient Vadakum Nathan Temple. After this takes place the main attraction of the festival, the grand display of caparisoned elephants with ornamental fans and dazzling parasols in a wonderful ceremony called Kura Mattam. It is the most colourful event of the Puram and this year the administration arranged additional security for women so that they can take part in large numbers. This is a very wonderful experience. Despite the uh, uh, rushes, it, uh, we, we see it very uh, randomly. Uh, there was so much colourful and we enjoyed it so much. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, so there were many people and we were really happy. So we came with our friends and it was a wonderful experience, we will never forget this. Uh, so it was really nice, memorable one. The main highlight of the festival is Ilanjithara Melam. Considered as the world's largest live orchestra of percussionists that is known for its technical brilliance. The orchestra enthralls thousands of devotees with their bewitching performances of traditional instruments. Another attraction is fireworks known as Vediketu in Malayalam. It forms an important part of Kerala's temple festivals and in Thrissur Puram too, specific area is allotted to burst crackers. Originally, the fireworks were held in the wee hours, but this time the activity was postponed to the evening due to rains. This is the most important and uh, what we enjoy is more this bedicate. In Malayalam, we call it as bedicate. It is fireworks. It is the most beautiful fireworks in Kerala. So, if you compa comparing to another any festival, this is the number one over here. Especially proud, I am from the Trishur as well. Because of the rain, we couldn't be, uh, we, we, were, we weren't able to watch it. That is a little bit of a disappointment for all of us, I know, but uh, it's postponed and uh, surely we'll be able to watch it again. And all of us are in the spirit of Puram and we'll surely enjoy. So I'm waiting for the fireworks to begin again. Believed to have been started by King Sakhtan Thampuran of the 18th century Kochi Kingdom, Trisur Puram is a perfect mix of culture and spirituality. 
Today, with its popularity reaching a new high, it has been successfully carving its own niche in the country's annual carnival calendar. Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. Dargahs of Sufi saints in almost every part of the country are the rich reservoirs of this tradition. The Darga of Hazrat Shish alayhi salam in the city of Ayodhya is one such place where devotees from all religions come and offer prayers to the Sufi saint who lit the path of virtue, wisdom and peace for his fellow beings and followers. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and born homie between as many religions could be seen flourished and prospered at its best. The Darga of Hazrat Shish alayhi salam Situated in the town of Ayodhya is one such melange to have diversities. Situated at a place known as the Ayodhya Mani Parvat, the shrine witnesses a rush of devotees throughout the day. Whether one is Hindu, Muslim, Sikh or from any other community, the aroma of the shrine serenades them into cheerfulness and a belief of fulfilment ensues in them. मुसलमान हो या हिंदू भगवान का पूजा सब करता है आप अल्लाह कहते हैं हम भगवान कहते हैं बस इतना फर्क है और कोई फर्क नहीं पूजा पाठ सब ऐसे होता है आप भी भोग लगाते हैं हम भी भगवान का भोग लगाते हैं भगवान के प्रसाद सब खाते हैं वैसे हम भी खाते हैं उसमें कोई वो दो राय नहीं है आप अपने मन में चाहे कोई कुछ सोचिए अगर हमारे लिए तो भगवान ये भी है वो भी भगवान है It is believed that the Sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all those who come here from different corners of the country People of all faiths have deep faith in the saint who throughout his entire life worked for the welfare of humanity. मैं यहां एक खादिम के हैसियत से रहता हूं और यहां जायरीन काफी दूर से जाते हैं कलकत्ता से दिल्ली से बॉम्बे से उनको रहने की सहूलियत दी जाती है और यहां के हिंदू और मुसलमान पंडित हर लोग यहां पे आते हैं और सबकी मुरादें पूरी होती हैं और काफ़ी लोग आते हैं और यहाँ पे साल में एक मरत उस होता है चौबीस घंटे का लंगर होता है चौबीस घंटे का प्रोग्राम होता है यहाँ पे तो ना कोई बाहर की आमदनी ना कोई सरकारी टाउन है यही जायरीन से खर्च चलता है सिंस एजेस दी सूफी सेंस लाइक दी हजरत शीश अलैहि इस्लाम हैव प्रोपोगेटेड दी मैसेज ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिज्म एंड हार्मनी इन आर कंट्री एंड देर टीचिंग्स आर स्टिल प्लेइंग अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन स्ट्रेंथनिंग द थ्रेड ऑफ सेक्युलरिज्म Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Animal medical staffs in India's city of Ahmedabad gently squeezes a syringe of fluid into the beak of a parrot, one of thousands of birds that have been affected by a scorching heat wave in the country. अभी आप ज्यादातर के समर का सीजन है गर्मी के अंदर बहुत सारे ऐसे बर्ड से छोटे से लेके बड़े तक जो गर्मी के अंदर डिहाइड्रेशन हो जाते हैं उनका कारण एक ही होता है कि उनको ठीक से पानी नहीं मिल पा रहा है और पानी नहीं मिलने के वजह से लोग डिहाइड्रेशन होकर कहीं पे भी गिर जाते हैं इसके वजह से हम लोगों को भी यही कहते हैं कि डिहाइड्रेशन ना हो पक्षियों को उसके लिए पानी दे Rescuers in the western Gujarat state are picking up dozens of exhausted and dehydrated birds dropping out of trees and the sky every day as the soaring temperature dries out water sources in the state's biggest city veterinary doctors and animal rescuers say doctors in the animal hospital managed by non-profit jeevdaya charitable trust in Ahmedabad said they have treated thousands of birds in the last few weeks adding that rescuers bring dozens of high flying birds such as pigeons or kites every day Bollywood actor Akshay Kumar released the trailer of an upcoming film based on an epic poem Prithviraj Raso showcasing the life of King Prithviraj Chauhan in India's western Mumbai city Hum jab history kitab mein jab padhte hain to sirf ek paragraph aata tha unka आज ये फिल्म मैं चाहूंगा देश का ही नहीं दुनिया का हर बच्चा देखे इट्स एन एडुकेशनल फिल्म ये फिल्म आप खुद ही देखेंगे आपको खुद ही महसूस होगा कि आप अपने बच्चों को ये फिल्म दिखाना चाहेंगे 
उन्हें बताना चाहेंगे कि सम्राट पृथ्वीराज चौहान की कहानी क्या है क्या क्या किया था Accompanied by former Miss World and actress Manushi Chiller and director Chandra Prakash Dwivedi, Kumar spoke about the movie that tells the story of the Rajput king and his clash with Muhammad of Ghor. The film marks the debut of Chiller who will be seen playing the role of Sanyogita, one of the three wives of Chauhan. Produced by filmmaker Aditya Chopra, the film is slated to hit the theaters on June 3. Thousands of devotees flock to India's pilgrimage sites and temples to mark Lord Buddha's 2566th birth anniversary. The holy town of Bodh Gaya in eastern Bihar state opened its gates to an international crowd after 2 years of the pandemic. This made some devotees emotional, said a devotee who hailed from Vietnam. Bodh Gaya is revered by Buddhists since Lord Buddha is believed to have attained enlightenment under a tree at this place. Some devotees were seen taking a bath in the holy Ganges river as they commemorated the day. Buddha Jayanti is celebrated every year on the full moon night of May which is termed Buddh Purnima. It is widely believed that Lord Buddha attained enlightenment on this day. The day is also said to mark the birth and death of Buddha. And now we will take you to the urs of Khwaja Haji Asghar Hussain Khan in Muzaffarpur district of Bihar which was attended by people of different religious communities as a show of religious harmony among the citizens take a look Communal harmony is a required facet for maintaining peace and tranquility in a multicultural and diverse society like India A major role in connecting individuals of different religious communities and bringing them under one roof in Muzaffarpur district of Bihar is done by the Dargah of Khwaja Hazir Asghar Hussain Khan. Recently, the 119th death anniversary or urs of the Sufi saint was organized at the Dargah. Sab log jo mannat mante the pura hota tha, chahe Hindu ho, Sikh ho, Isai ho, पारसी हो जैन हो वो पूरा करते थे फूल का चादर हो कपड़ा का चादर हो प्रसाद हो जो उसको हैसियत था अपना वक़ाद वो पूरा करते थे इसका नतीजा है कि दाता के लिए सारे लोग देश के हिंदू हो मुस्लिम हो सिख ईसाई हो यहूदी हो सब उनके बच्चे हैं और आज भी एक बहुत बड़ी मिसाल है कि सारे कौम के लोग यहाँ आपके यहाँ पे लॉकडाउन में भी उर्स हुआ लेकिन हमने बाड़ी आदमी को दो साल आने नहीं दिया उसके बाद भी लोग अकीदत का फूल भेजते रहे ऑल्सो नोन एज दाता कम्बल शाह अमंग इज डेविटीज दन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड दरगाह इज सिचुएटेड इन दी ओल्ड मार्केट एरिया ऑफ द सिटी नियर द पुलिस स्टेशन It is believed that the saint came to Muzaffarpur in the year 1883 and his tomb was built in the year 1903. People of all faiths have deep faith in the saint who throughout his entire life worked for the welfare of humanity. It is believed that Sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all those who come over here from different corners of the country. Tamam log अगल बगल क्षेत्र के दूर दूर दराज से यहाँ तक कि देश विदेशों से भी लोग यहाँ आते हैं चादर जाने यहाँ पर लोगों की बहुत आस्था है हिंदू हो मुस्लिम हो सिख हो ईसाई हो सभी लोगों का बहुत आस्था है यहाँ इस शहर के लिए एक शान है हमारे दाता कमल सर रमत इनकी आस्था इतनी लोकप्रिय है कि दूर दूर तक यहाँ तक कि मदीना में भी इन, इनकी चर्चा होती रहती है ये सरकारी चादर जो थाना से निकलती है इसका एक हिस्ट्री है और एक नगर निगम से चादर निकलती है जेल से भी चादर आती है मतलब तो तीन चार जगह से चादर आती है यहाँ और किन्नरों लोगों का भी चादर यहाँ चढ़ता है बहुत दूर दूर से आते हैं लोग जियारती लोग और यहाँ मतलब मन मन्नत मानते हैं मांगते हैं लोग और सभी की मुरादें पूरी होती है सच्चे दिल से मन्नत मान मांगने आते हैं उनकी मुरादें हंड्रेड परसेंट पूरी होती हैं Since ages, the Sufi saints like Hazrat of Khwaja Hazir Asghar Hussain Khan have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country, and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism.
Next, we move on to the Queen of Hills, Shimla, where tourists are coming in large numbers to obtain respite from the hot weather conditions. Ranging from adventure spots to a toy train journey on a picturesque heritage route, the majestic city is also not behind in leaving visitors spoilt for choice. Situated on the foothills of Himalayas, Shimla, the capital of Himachal Pradesh, is one of the most visited hill stations of the country. The city has a rich history and is home to a number of buildings that are styled in the Tudor Bethan and Neo-Gothic architectures dating from the colonial era. The verdant scenery, salubrious weather and old world charm of the city has always enticed nature lovers and travel enthusiasts from across the world. At present, with the heat wave besetting parts of North India, tourists are flocking the hill station in large numbers. काफी अच्छा वेदर है आज हम जैसे निकले हैं अभी रूम से बाहर हैं चेक आउट किया है देख रहे हैं काफी है रौनक है बाजार में और वेदर बहुत अच्छा है Besides getting to soak in the serene nature, tourists are also indulging themselves in the adventure activities in Shimla to experience the adrenaline rush. The hill station and the nearby places like Kufri provide one with infrastructure as well as facilities to enjoy adventure spots. From valley crossing to skywalk to suspension bridge, there are a bucket of options to explore. यहाँ पे वैसे फर्स्ट टाइम ही आया हूँ मैं यहाँ पे कोविड के बाद से दो साल लॉकडाउन में थे तो थोड़ा गर्मी इंदौर में कभी इंदौर में काफ़ी गर्मी हो रहा है तो यहाँ पे थोड़ा ठंडक लेने आए हैं और यहाँ पे काफ़ी अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस था मेरा यहाँ पे एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स किया है हमने स्काई वॉक था एक्सपेक्टर था और आगे राइड्स भी थी काफ़ी सारी उसमें हर्ज प्लान भी था काफ़ी अच्छा रहा एक्सपीरियंस मुंबई में तो बहुत गर्मी है इसलिए हम लोग यहाँ ठंडी ठंडी में आए हैं और यहाँ पे फर्स्ट टाइम आई हूँ मैं हम लोग ने बहुत एडवेंचर एक्टिविटीज़ किया जिप लाइनिंग किया तीन चार स्विंग के राइड्स किए स्काई वॉकिंग किया पहले बहुत डर लग रहा था ये देख के बट फिर मज़ा आया करके और अभी गो कार्टिंग और, और दो तीन एक्टिविटीज़ बाकी है वो करने वाले Enjoying the toy train ride on the famous picturesque heritage route is yet another exciting thing to do in Shimla. Jogging along the line amidst lofty pines and lush green misty mountains, the 115-year-old heritage steam engine that runs from Kalka in Haryana to Shimla offers one of the most scenic journeys in India. Laid out on a narrow gauge track that passes through 103 tunnels, 864 bridges, 919 stunning curves and 18 railway stations, the route was considered as the crown jewel of the Indian National Railways during British times. In 2009 it was declared as a world heritage site by UNESCO and also features in the Guinness Book of World Records for offering the steepest rise in altitude in the space of 96 kilometers. Amid the tourist season authorities are making several arrangements to enable more visitors enjoy the train journey. Hamare paas already kal ka shimla ke beech mein passengers ke liye 6 gaadiyan chal rahi hain. तो ये सातवीं गाड़ी जो है एज ए हॉलीडे स्पेशल इंट्रोड्यूस करी गई है मंडल कार्यालय द्वारा हेडक्वार्टर के द्वारा हमारा जो कालका शिमला का सीज़न है वो मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली 15 अप्रैल से ही शुरू होता है और जनरली हम 15 अप्रैल से ही हॉलीडे स्पेशल चलाते हैं तो इस बार जो है 15 अप्रैल से 14 अप्रैल से जो गाड़ी है हमारी चली है तो पंद्रह को आज यहाँ से वो गई है तो हमारी ये गाड़ी है जो पूरी की पूरी अनरिजर्ट है काफ़ी अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस रहा है मतलब दिल्ली में काफ़ी गर्मी हो रही है इस टाइम तो यहाँ पर आके मतलब वैसे भी बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है और टॉय ट्रेन ने उसका एक्सपीरियंस और डबल कर दिया मतलब काफ़ी अच्छा लगा शिमला टूरिज्म हैज़ बूम्ड ओवर रीसेंट ईयर्स एंड इज ग्रोइंग कंसिस्टेंटली एवरी ईयर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ विजिटर्स थ्रॉन्ग द प्लेस टू हैव अ पीसफुल एनवायरनमेंट इन द इंडिया मोस्ट पॉपुलर हिल रिजॉर्ट फार अवे फ्रॉम द मैजनिंग सिटी क्राउड And in the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Japanese company Rinnai is launching its latest technology factory in Georgia, North America with an aim to expand the production and dissemination of its latest product, tankless water heater. 
the tankless water heater makes sure that there is no shortage of hot water. When it comes to the tankless technology in North America, there are two technologies. <clears throat> There's condensing and non-condensing. The condensing is a higher efficiency product that is sold north of the Mason-Dixon line or in the northern part of the United States. Non-condensing is sold in the southern part of the United States. And Renai America has both technologies. So we have product that we sell in both segments that allows us to support both the residential and the commercial marketplace. So if you look at the uh, tankless technology, Renai America first started and we started selling tankless water heaters uh, basically up to about uh, 2015. We were taking Japanese products. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.